Creating a cost-effective Facebook ad bidding strategy is incredibly important. Getting it wrong could leave you seriously out of pocket. One of the best things about PPC from the point of view of an advertiser is that it doesn't actually cost all that much each time someone clicks. As a rule, you generally pay only a few cents and up to you know maybe five dollars for clicks. And this means you have a fair margin for error when it comes to ROI or return on investment. And if you're selling a product on your site, and let's say you make about $30 profit per sale, then you only need a small percentage of those clicks to actually result in a purchase to make a profit. Another great advantage of PPC marketing like this is there's no set cost for your clicks and the minimum spend is tiny. And this is how a huge company like Amazon can afford to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on their Facebook advertising, while smaller businesses and entrepreneurs can also afford to pay for some ads and compete with them on a level playing field. And it's highly adaptable and it gives you a gigantic advantage if you have a limited budget or when you're just starting out. OK, I know what you're thinking. If there's no set budget, how can you calculate how much you're going to pay? Well, Facebook make this quite easy for you. Now, essentially, this works on a bidding system where you set your CPC, your cost per click, and this defines how often your ad shows. Now, like all of us, Facebook wants to earn as much money as possible. So the ads they show will be dictated by who is bidding the most. And each time there's a slot for an ad, all the relevant ones will be compared and the ones which bid the highest will be shown the most often. But of course, it doesn't mean if you're paying lower, your ad won't be shown at all. It doesn't work that way. It's not like an auction. So let's say you're willing to bid $2 for each click. Well, chances are that your ad will be seen frequently, but it'll also cost you a lot. If you're only paying $0.05 cents for each click, your ad will be shown far more rarely. But at the same time, your overheads will be much lower each time someone does click on your ad. And another important factor to consider when making this decision is your overall budget. You can set a maximum budget with most forms of PPC, including Facebook advertising. And this allows you to set a cutoff point and a cap on how much you're going to spend. So, for example, if you were to set a daily budget of $100 and you were paying $1 per click, after your ad had been clicked on 100 times, reaching your daily limit of $100, your ad would stop showing and you wouldn't pay anything more. And this way, you'll be prevented from running up a massive bill. You can also pay per impression. And this means you'll pay each time your ad is shown. And this is the default setting for advertisers. But it's best avoided until you're certain that your ad is effective. Otherwise, you could end up paying for an ad that nobody clicks on. Unless, of course, you're looking for ways to build your brand and you're not interested about clicks. You just want to get out there. You just want to have people notice who you are, what your brand is, in which case paying by impression certainly makes sense. So how much should you bid? Well, that's going to depend on how competitive your niche and your keywords are. You can choose either automatic bids, and this means that Facebook bids for you or you can choose to enter a bid manually. So if you're just starting out, it's probably best to use automatic bidding to begin with. Now, bear in mind that Facebook wants to make money from you, 
So initially, they're going to set this figure quite high. But because you may not know exactly what is a good bid and what is a bad bid, you're probably going to have to go along with it just to begin with. But the best strategy that I can think of is to keep it at automatic for a couple of days and see how well your ad performs and see how often it's being shown, see how many clicks you're getting, etc., etc. Then cut the CPC down and see how often your ad shows. And you want to keep reducing it until your ad is showing less often than you want it to, and then you put the CPC up a bit so that it starts showing more frequently. And monitor your stats. Now, Facebook provides you with quite a lot of stats, so you want to monitor those and keep track of how your ad is performing. Next thing you want to do is to cut the daily budget down to one that you can comfortably afford. Now, remember, Facebook will set it for how much they want you to spend. So you want to cut it down to something that you can afford regardless of the CPC, because after all, you don't want to run up a huge bill and get into debt or anything like that. So once you've done this, you just have to experiment and tweak and test your ad for the best conversion. And it's something that you just have to play by ear most of the time because there are so many different variables depending on your niche, on the keywords that you're going after, on your target audience, and so on. So there is no hard and fast rule. You just have to play it by ear and work through, tweak, test, improve, and so on. And then eventually you'll get to a point where your ad is performing optimally and then you can just simply perhaps roll it out to a wider audience. But that is the best way that I know of to create a Facebook ad bidding strategy.